Hello, Greg from Balloon Market here, and welcome to another BMTV. And as you can see, we're once again joined by Lydia, again, from Balloon <laughs> Occasions. Sick of the sight of me. And not at all, not at all. Um, and this time, you've come without Chantal, so we can talk I about have, her. I She's have. actually gone into the other room. She was sat over there, really. She's gone into the other room. But what's she like to work for? Is she all right? Yeah, she was a very good egg as our Shan. Okay. Yeah. Good. That's all I wanted to know. I'm not being paid to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you seem to have a great working relationship. We do, we do. It sounds like you laugh a lot as we well. We do, so. we do. Anyway, say. last time you were here, you showed us the Cricut. Yep. And you showed us that amazing design on the um, acrylic desk. Yep. Um, but today, you're going to do something else. And I was really surprised when we first visited and you told me you do all of these yourself. Yeah. So, I know everyone does. I think people are worried that I would use this machinery by myself. I, <laughs> I, I promise don't be fooled by the height. I'm a big girl. <laughs> well, you, well you, all your, basically you're going to make a prop, aren't I you? I am, yeah. And you've all the props that you've got back at, at Balloon Occasions mm -hmm. HQ, you have made those. Yep. So you know what you're doing. I do. You so name let, it. let's show everybody what to do. I'm a bit worried because you are going to be using a, I am be using a, a jigsaw, jigsaw and safety glasses right? and stuff. Yeah. I'm a bit scared, but. You're in safe hands. Okay, I trust All right? you. I trust you. So to begin with, what we need is MDF. Yep. So this is 12 mil MDF. You could get thicker if you want. I quite like the 12 mil. I think it's easy to move. The bigger you, the bigger and thicker it is, the more heavy it's going to be. Okay. And of course, we're lifting everything all day long in yeah. and out the van. I want it pretty thick so that it withstands it, but I need it light enough so I can carry okay. it. Okay. All right. So this is just an off cut. Usually we buy these in huge sheets, yeah. um, but we always save the off cuts because you'll always be surprised what shapes you can make. You um, know, B and Q, they cut them for you as well. Yeah, but I, I think when, how do I know how big my butterfly wing's gonna be or my honey pot or my, you know. I, do, I was just on. thinking you could cut them in half to get them in the van. Well, I suppose you've got the van, it doesn't matter. We've got a big though, old van, so, so yeah, yeah. We like yeah. to keep them as big as possible. I mean, uh, when it was Jubilee, I made the, oh, sorry. The, um, London bus. What are you sorry for? You can talk about Jubilee. Okay. <laughs> we made the London bus, which is a whole one, one, one meter by two meters. So it was oh, huge. Oh, wow. Okay. Made post boxes, you name it. Yeah. Which, I'll have a go. I'll okay. have a go. God loves a trier. Yeah, absolutely. Right. So then I also need a pencil mm -hmm. and a Posca pen or a marker pen. Okay. Of any kind. I love a Posca pen because it's really easy to use. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to make a cactus today. Ooh. So I'm going to freehand this. So do you um, know what a cactus looks like in your in your head? Have you got an idea? I think so. I'm going to go for a long, thin one and then two little arms coming off. So what sense. would you normally do if you decide you're going to do a butterfly mm -hmm. or a cactus? Well, I would do you have a look at pictures online? Yeah, I would have a look for some inspo. Um, another method I would use if it's like this is just a silhouette. So okay. this isn't going to be any detail on it. It's just okay. going to be plain coloured. But if I was to do detail, then I would print out the um, image and then I would transfer it onto the wood. So I can definitely show you that another so time. So I think when we visited you, you That's were working on doing. something. Okay. So, okay. Um, so yeah, you basically print it out into loads of sheets. You stick the sheets together, cut around it and then add the details after once you've got your bottom coat on. Okay. But yeah, we do show that on B2B. Okay, cool. Um, so I'm going to go for it. I might have a little look again at what okay. a cactus looks like, but I'm pretty sure I'm I can I can go for it. So did you do art at college or something? I did. Oh, yes. right. Okay. I went to college to be a mental health art therapist. Hated the classes. So then I detoured and did what I knew what, that I loved, which was art. So yeah. 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 Mental health art classes. Yeah, you can be an art therapist. Okay. Yep. Never heard of that. Oh, yes. So this is my base shape. I think I'm going to make it a little bit thicker this side. So it doesn't matter if you're doing it rough like this. No, because I'm going to cut it out. When I use, when I know what line I need to cut, I'll do that with the Posca pen. Okay. So I just really do rough it up here. Yeah. So then I'm going to make a circle here to create the arm. Can't decide if I want that to come out or down. So we'll have a look. And another one here. So you can just see I'm just adding whatever I think and I'm then going to go along this with the marker pen yeah. so it doesn't matter if it's you use like a sharpie or a post like a posca pen whatever yeah you prefer to use right does this look cactusy I mean it's hard to say I know right if I go out through the outline I 
and then just going to trace around it. So can you buy these things? If you didn't want to make them, can you buy these? You would have to get them cut using a CNC machine. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's definitely suppliers out there that do. You can definitely get them blank and then paint them yourselves. That would also save yeah. quite a lot of time. But this is definitely a huge money saver because yeah. MDF is inexpensive. Yeah, yeah. Um, so if you can, if you will give it a go, I'd recommend to give it a go. So and you... I think everyone's surprised once they, once they pick it up, like to me, like a jigsaw, I guess, can look quite scary, but actually it's really, if I can use it, anyone can use yeah. it, trust me. We've got one, I've never used it. <laughs> oh, you're going to be making cactuses tomorrow, Greg. Right. I'm going to add a little arm up here. Well, I don't think I want to. I think I'm just going to leave it. Okay. You All don't right. think it looks like a cactus? I, I, I don't know that I've seen it's hard to say because it doesn't have all the little spine Spikes, bits on yeah. it. Yeah, so. so if it was, I guess it would have like the whole this and then you'd go down. Yeah, but it doesn't matter because... It's just going to be a, it's just it's gonna gonna be be a pink cactus as well. A pink cactus? Oh yeah. So what's this going to be used for? This is going to be used for a pink and mint green setup. Okay. To go with our sign. Okay, so the sign you did last time mm -hmm. and this. Yep, all We're going to put all that together. We should get Chantelle doing something actually. Maybe she can do that. What? Put it all together. Oh yeah, I'm, she, can, she can take the credit. Take the glory. Yeah. Take the glory. <laughs> so okay. I'm going to cut this out with the jigsaw now. Okay. You're not going to do it on this table, are you? Nope. Okay. I've got to introduce you then to the clicky finger thing. Have you ever seen the clicky finger thing? I don't know. You've got to, Should I be worried? You've, you've got to do this. Okay. Can you click your fingers? Yeah. Oh yeah, I can. I'm just checking then. I, I, <laughs> they still work. They still, I can't do it. So we do one, two, three, and then we do that. Okay. And then when we click the fingers, we'll be back and the table will be gone. Fab. All right, ready? I'm going to go for it. Click your finger thing. One, two, three. Yay! And there we go. So as you can see, the table has disappeared and it's been replaced by an Ikea stool. And some safety goggles. And some safety goggles. Mine actually look quite funky, I Yours think. are far better than the, mine. The, <laughs> yours are very science class, aren't they, at school? Anyway. 20p, probably. Yeah. yeah well, no, they, they, they look all right. At least they're glasses. I used to have one that had elastic around oh, it. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, so now we get to the dangerous bit, don't mm -hmm. we? Okay. So now I'm going to use the jigsaw. So this is the jigsaw I am using. I've plugged it in. Okay. So I want to make sure that everyone takes the correct safety measures. So make sure that the wire's out of the way. You've got protective goggles on. Yep. And protective footwear on. Okay. Okay. And so not flip-flops. Not flip-flops. And, and also I would recommend a trestle or something like that. This is just easier for us to have okay. some weight on it. All right. So you... Would not recommend using a stool like this. No, I wouldn't. I'd recommend a proper A-frame trestle. But you can use yep. this. Yes, and you can do. I mean, I'm hoping it's we don't sacrifice choice. it, but... Okay. We will not, I promise. Okay. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to lay this on top of the stool. See? Genuinely a little bit scared. But Are you? Yeah, yeah. Don't be silly. Do, do I have to hold anything or do nope, anything you're for all it? Good. Okay. All right. So this is, this is the, the jigsaw's quite loud. So okay, okay so we won't be able to talk. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay. All right. So I'm going to start by going up one side and I'm going to do all my upwards motions first. Okay. So I'm going to take this bit off up to here. I'm going to ignore this because okay. I want to do that in a downwards motion. Okay. So I'll walk, try and talk through it as I go. So just making sure I'm clear of the bench, which I am. I'm leaning them weight on the centre. Yeah. really slowly to make sure that I've got as much control as possible because okay. if I was just pushing through I'd probably snap the blade I wouldn't have much control it'd be a crazy line the slower I go the more accurate the line's going to be okay. and the better outcome it's going to have okay yeah <laughs> So again, I'm going to ignore cutting the little arm. I'm going to make sure I'm as close to the stool as I can get so I can put some more weight on here and I might be able to go a bit. Oh, 
Oh, I'm nowhere near the stall. It's okay. You're Good. Still, your stall will be saved. You will live to see another day. I mean, that did cost twelve pounds. So. <laughs> Sawdust. Don't breathe the sawdust in. <laughs> Am I near the stool? No one here. No. Almost there. So you can see, because I'm going really slow, I'm quite close to the edge, yeah. which means I won't actually have to do any sanding. Okay. If you're a bit scared to get too close to the edge, or like it's a bit more detailed, you could definitely go over the sanding block after. Okay. But hopefully, because I'm going quite slow, I'm not making really raggedy edges. So we'll continue these last little bits, and then we'll mm -hmm. be done. So now I'm going to go back in, I'm going to do a cut down here, take the jigsaw out, I'm going to do a cut down there, yeah. and then take that little bit out. Oh, you've hit the stool. You've hit the stool. Is that meant to be on stool watch? Have I hit it? Oh, a tiny little bit. Oh, look at this. I've, ma I've made my that. mark now. on there Lydia was in. <laughs> it's very slippy this, you're making a right mess of the studio. I know, you have to get the hoover out. I you will. have to actually do something then. <laughs> <laughs> So you self-taught with the jigsaw? Yeah. Did you watch any YouTube videos or anything? No. <laughs> I thought <laughs> I can do that. I'll, I'll give that a go. You need a princess castle? I'll make it for you, Shan. So yeah, I do uh, definitely. Last little bit. And all the loud bits over then. Put it to the 
That's great. So there you go. And there it is. So if I wanted to really make these crisp edges, I would go along with a sandpaper, uh, like a sanding block. Yeah, yeah. Um, like a coarse grit, because that'll just get any of these lumps and bumps out. But I think once it's painted, you're not gonna really see those. But so yeah. it sands quite easily. It with, does, with a, it does. It's nice block. and soft and easy to use. So what you would do next is just paint that whatever color it so, is. So yeah, I'm going to, to use a eggshell, white eggshell paint for okay. wood. And that's going to save money on buying a primer that's specific, specifically for wood. Okay. And um, so I would use, I've got it with me, okay. um, the white eggshell paint. It just seals it slightly. I wouldn't recommend doing that if you're going to use a really dark color. It's a pointless step. Okay. But we are going to paint this pastel pink. So I am going to need to make sure it's light and it doesn't sink in too much. So, so you're going to use a pastel white and yeah. then you put the pink on top of that. Yeah. Okay, cool. Should we do that? Let's do that. The glamour of BMTV. Oh, it's gone everywhere. So this paint is just what, like normal Dulux type yeah, stuff? Yeah, this is for wood. So it's wood paint. It's not wall emulsion or anything okay. like that. And I like to use an eggshell finish. I feel like it coats the MDF far better. Um, it's a much easier process to make sure that you're not wasting all the coloured paint. It's just not just sinking straight into the MDF. Yeah, yeah. Um, the key is to always use a foam roller. Don't use a fluffy one, use a foam roller. This is going to give you less texture. And in turn, if you choose to stick vinyl on these, it's going to stick far better. So don't There's use no a brush either? No. You're oh, banned God, from the oh, brushes. Okay. okay, so I'm going to take the paint really thin. Make sure I'm coating the roller all over. So do you do all the DIY at home? Uh, and, and both the, me and well, me and my husband are very hand, hands on with the whole okay. DIY. We like to go, do a DIY project. Okay. What was your last like, project? We renovated the house. We okay. live in a Victorian terraced house. It's all renovated. I've learned how to tile. I've learned how to plaster. Oh, really? Plum. Yeah. Plast plastering's really hard. Oh, though. I love. Yeah, but because I used to be a cake maker, I think that's what you still on the outside. Ah. So I quite liked that. I thought I can do this. I'll give this a good go. Um. So yeah, really liked plastering. So if, if Shan decides to get rid of me, maybe that's where I'll go. Okay. Plasterer. Yeah. I can tell you, you can charge what you want. <laughs> a good plasterer, so hard to find. Yeah. Have you ever seen the videos of people doing the plastering of ceilings where they've got the stilts on? Yeah. That's so cool. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a bit of a wuss on the heights, so I'm not sure how good I would be on the <laughs> I mean, old stilts. That high. <laughs> that's a long way off the ground for me. <laughs> Must but, still hurt when you fall over there. Yeah, I'm sure. So I'm just really coating it. I'm just making sure I'm going really thin layers. I'm not overlapping. This doesn't need to be perfect. Again, this is your base coat. Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's a bit a bit patchy. It's simply just to seal the MDF because you'll see it'll sink in quite a lot because it's very porous. And we'll have to let this dry before we put the next we one We will, on, yeah. So. Luckily, this is a fast dry. I do recommend if you can to spend those extra couple of pounds to get the fast dry. Prior to this, we had one that took about 48 hours to dry, ah, yeah. which meant we just couldn't get on with anything. Um, so this one does say it's a 20 to 30 minute, which usually is far quicker because of it being MDF, it's sunk into the, yeah, yeah. the wood. So yeah, but yeah. And then with the paint on top, I don't you don't have to use a wood specific paint for that one. Um, that is just any eggshell or silk finish. I would recommend you go for a shinier finish simply because A, vinyl sticks to it. So it's good if you want to put somebody's name on it for their birthday mm -hmm. or a message. Um, but also it's easier to clean. It's harder wearer than, than matte. So you would take the vinyl off and use it again yeah, for somebody absolutely. else's party. Okay. Uh, we've got a safari Jeep that I've made yeah. and we customize the registration every time. Oh, right. Okay. Cool. So yeah. So the good thing is if you're using a silhouette, a based image where you've got no details mm -hmm. you can just roll the edges because otherwise you would have to use a paintbrush yeah very tedious nothing worse than painting the edges so i'm just going all around that's just loose bits of wood dropping off oh, you're encroaching on my side <laughs> sorry i'm going, going all the okay. way around no this is where it feels really unnatural <laughs> when i'm on this side it's just wrong a couple of people have done that before you'll have to be brave <laughs> be brave so there you go. So once okay. this is dry, I'm then going to put my colour over the top. All right. In that case, go back there. Got to do the clicky finger thing again. Okay. One, <laughs> two, three. Yay! Hey, and here we are once again. And now I've got that. Thank you. Because you couldn't do the clicky finger thing without <laughs> your hand. Right. So this is dried-ish. Yep. 
So now that the base coat's dry, so you can see it'll sink in slightly, but again, it doesn't matter too much. It's just to create a barrier. Yeah. Um, I'm now going to use this paint, which is, again, a sheen. So it's got a sheen to it. So this is eggshell. I think with this brand, they call it mid-sheen. premium as well. Oh, yeah. It's only the best stuff. Valspar. So we like Valspar because it they custom mix colours. So, you know, you go and you choose your little tag or you oh, can right. take in a pillow or anything and they'll colour match it. So that's what I really like about it. Yeah, okay. Um, I also really like the paint quality. I think it's really nice and thick. So this isn't how you should do it. Do you, you want me to hold the, the tag? Yeah, you should that? definitely put it in a roller tray, but we're, we're moving because we want to get this painted. So you can see it goes on really nice and thick and the colour's really nice in this. You're probably not going to have to dip that in again, are you? Oh, maybe no double dip just one roll and the good thing with Valspar as well they come in um small tester pot sizes but okay. the tester pots are really decent sizes I think they're usually about five pounds but they often have offers on so where do you get these from but like being cute just okay. just being cute I, th I think it's just being cute so that's the same place we get them from so I'm just going to keep rolling again nice and smooth And just keep going all through that. You know, if you do painting as well, you can get, um, you can earn quite a lot of money doing that as well. Oh, There's plastering. Painter. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to be a plasterer when Shan fires me and then a painter on top. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever given a reason to fire you? I don't know. I think I think this morning may have had a reason when I did have a bit of a breakdown. It was because I was having a bad morning and then a seagull sort of stole my food off the top of the car. Oh, really? So I was like, <laughs> I was like this is it. I'm done today. I was so hungry. I went to Tesco and the seagull, I put it on top of the car to get in the car and the seagull came and swooped and took oh, my Philadelphia and I was annoying. like, I'm done. I'm done. I, I, I definitely did I have a little cry. I would not be happy with that. I did have a little cry. <laughs> If you want to know if anyone has really bad luck, you want to hear the, the life of me. Def I'll have to go okay. for a little bit more, sorry. Just a little bit. Okay. Many thanks. Why? So, what other bad luck have you had? Oh, I, I, I have bad luck. And anything that can go wrong will go wrong with me. I've got a friend like that. She no. does things go wrong for her all the time. I think it's of her own making, though. <laughs> Quite often. So then, again, because it's the same colour the whole way, you don't have to bother with paint brushing the edges. You can just okay. roll the edges. This is a nice colour pink. It's like candy floss. It is. Very nice. Yeah. My jeans are all covered in paint, so always wear overalls. Like so. So you basically go around the whole edge of it. Yeah. We don't, we don't need to show that because that's just that. Okay. Don't you dare get any on my step. You have, you've got it on my step, man. Oh, tiny bit. You'll be all right. Oh, tiny bit, tiny little cut there out you of go. it. It's fine. So yeah. how would you get in those little gaps? I just use a brush. Yep, I would use a brush to get into the really small bits, making sure it's all finished off properly. If you have only got matte put this down. paint, um, I'd recommend you use like a clear um, shiny lacquer on top, just a spray. Yeah. Then it'll give it no texture. And again, it'll be much more hard wearing. Okay. Awesome. So there you go. So this is going to be used in a, a, a sort of scene, mm -hmm. isn't it? Um, but you're not going to do that. No. Sure. But you've got a bit of a teaser thing going on because there's something else that you've got, you've made with yes. this in mind. Didn't you? So with our, all of our MDF props, I have we have a tutorial on the B2B page that makes them totally removable. So it means that you can store the signs, um, the stands separate to the actual props, meaning you can totally flat pack them. There's okay. no huge gaps between them. You've got your stands on a little shelf, they're reusable. We've made them so they can totally slide on I and off. I see, but so. that's on your online balloons to business page, yes. which is at? Balloonoccasions.uk. That's right, balloonoccasions.uk. <laughs> and you go over to what tab? The online learning. Online learning. Yep. And then the, all the sign up information is on there. Yeah. Yep. And that still costs $17.99. Yes, it does. Yeah, I'm, I'm learning stuff. I'm learning <laughs> stuff. So head over there, have a look at that if you want to know how to, is it how to make the stands? That yeah, the stands, that there, it's a full in-depth tutorial. So from cutting it, using the drill, what screws you'll need, 
whatever thing else you need. Can't tell you too much. Okay, all right. <laughs> you got to head over there. You got to pay your money. But there's no there's no contract. You don't have to sign no, up for a year. No, it's just one month rolling contract. So, you can leave when you wish. Hopefully, you won't want to. But, but... You, what, what you're saying earlier on, nobody does. So <laughs> everybody likes you. <laughs> they seem to, yeah. Don't know why. I know. I'm not too sure why. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, Lydia. So thank you so much for that. And. That's very good. I think this will help people a lot making mm -hmm. their own props. It doesn't fantastic. look very much here, but when it's in a scene, it will but look when, good. when we see it yeah. all put together, yeah. that will be great. Anyway, as a guest on BMTV, as you know, you get to ask the question of the week. Have you thought of one? Mm, yeah, I've got uh, one. Yeah, yeah, no, no, yeah, yeah, I have. Okay. I have now. <laughs> all right. Brilliant. Fast thinking, thinking on your feet. Okay, what is the, the, the question of the week? For the My BMTV question Nation? of the week is, what prop are you going to go out and make that you cannot get hold of beforehand. Oh, okay. Yeah. Leave your comments down below on Facebook and on YouTube. What prop are you going to make now that you know how to do it? Yeah. Well, thank you so much for that. That was absolutely great. And thank you, everybody out there for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please do hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon and you'll be notified every time we upload a new show. Check us out on Instagram and also check these guys out on Instagram as well. Stay happy, stay positive, and I look forward to seeing you all next week. Bye.